Hey everyone, MJ here. Today is Independent Bookstore Day and I am taking you with me. I am traveling to a bookstore called Firefly. Um, my best friend and I have done this for a number of years. The last two years from COVID were just terrible and we weren't able to make it. So today we are taking time, getting up early and we're gonna get there for when the store opens. Um, they are a new and used bookstore and all their used books are 50% off. They are awesome people and um, you know, hopefully it'll be an awesome morning. So I'm taking you with me. Hey everyone, it's MJ. I am in the car. I'm gonna gas it up and we are gonna get on the road. I'm gonna pick up my best friend and um, we are going to travel to our favorite independent bookstore, which is about an hour away. Um, we don't mind because this is tradition for us and um, I'm kind of excited. So come along with me. Did I also happen to mention like today is like an absolutely stellar day? What better day to go and buy some books? Hey everyone, it's MJ and I am deep in the stacks at Firefly. Today is Independent Bookstore Day. I got some picks, so I'm going outside my comfort zone a little bit. And I will be sure to go through with my book stack when I get back home. Hey guys, it's MJ here. I am back from my trip. It's about 10 hours later since I checked in with you. Um, we had an awesome time, awesome. Um, we were the first ones in the store. Uh, the store people remembered us from being there in years past and um, they actually had a nice light crowd um, as we were uh, checking out. So I've got my bag of goodies here and I wanted to share them with you. Um, Independent Bookstore Day was a thing started um, gosh, I'd say maybe six, seven years ago now. Um, the first year I remember was a huge Neil Gaiman year. They had a pin that I have up here. They also have a coloring book. Um, and I remember waiting outside and there was a line to get in and that was pretty amazing. Um, this year, not so much. They still had awesome, uh, freebies and, uh, like exclusive deals that I think they had in a Nigella Lawson signed cookbook. Um, they had some other things, but I'll show you. I'll show you. So the first thing that we got was, this is by the company out of print and I wear a lot of their t-shirts and this is a tote bag because who doesn't need another tote bag? But the best thing about this tote bag is it is a crow tote bag. No mourners, no funerals. One of my favorite lines. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that love that. Um, so this is in the, um, not the Shadow and Bone, but the Six of Crows um, book. And I think some others, I've only read Shadow and Bone, but I do know this line very well. So um, that was one of the offerings that they had and my best friend got it for me. So thank you, best friend. And let's see, there were a bunch of freebies. 
So let's see what we got. There's a pin. It says, I read dangerously. Very cool. Put it on my jean jacket, 80s style. We've got, this was cute. Um, this is a original story by uh, Mieko Kawakami, translated by David Boyd. This is an independent bookstore exclusive and it is called Chandelier. And it's just a little thin chapter book. Um, not, oh God, the print is small. Whoa, look how small that print is. <laughs> but, um, very, very cool. So this was a story written exclusively for Independent Bookstore Day. Um, Mieko says, it brings me joy to celebrate the important work of independent bookstores and share Chandelier with you. I want to welcome you to my world of fiction with Chandelier, a story about a woman who spends all her time in a, in a department store. Not working there, just being there. It's a story that looks at how we live and die, how the past can shift with our memories, and how it can infiltrate the present in unexpected ways. All that in this little book. So I'm excited to read that. That was a freebie. And we also have, this is by Austin Cleon, and I love his works. This is one of my favorites. This is Steal Like an Artist. Short book, powerful book. If you are creative and you're looking to get some type of um, motivation, insight, inspiration, his books are amazing. So he did a read like an artist pamphlet. Oh, and I love the back. I will not finish books I don't like. I love that. I need that on a t-shirt because I do love DNFing a book that I don't like. Um, so this is a zine, like, hello, early 90s. Remember zines? Uh, this is a zine to celebrate Independent Bookstore Day 2022, and that's up there. So it basically um, just tells you, I'm not going to tell you everything, because if you didn't go to Independent Bookstore Day, then you missed out. But um, it's just little motivations of um, why we love books and how to read like an artist. So I will keep this up here with my steel like an artist. All right, now. Ooh. And since it is horror mayhem starting May 1st, which I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this video, but probably in May, um, I got myself an Edward Gorey. Can you see that? An Edward Gorey bookmark. And it was only like a dollar eighty-five or something, but I love it. Love it. So this is gonna go in my horror books that I'm reading. Speaking of horror mayhem, kind of influenced my purchases at the bookstore. So the bookstore that we go to, um, they are they have new books and they also have used books, and their used books today were half off, and you can't beat that. Um, I bought two new books. Um, the one just fell into my lap, and this is The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. Now, this we are reading as a part of Criminali's project for um, the book year, birth year, birth year book tag. Um, so last month it was Watership Dam. This month it is The Hellbound Heart, which um, has to do with the Hellraiser series, or Pinhead, as we like to call them. Um, so this is going to be uh, the first book that I read, and it's a short book, which is great. It's only 164 pages, so you can knock this out in a day easy. So I picked this up um, instead of using my uh, library, my e-copy. I thought I'd keep that in my collection. So that one. And then as I was looking through the shelves, browsing, I said to my best friend, I'm in the horror section, and I said, let me know if you see a book called My Best Friend's, my best friend's Ex Exorcism. And the cover looks like an old VHS tape from the 70s, 80s. So she's like, okay. As soon as I said that, I saw this and I said, oh, I found it. So this is my best friend's exorcism. I have heard only great things about this. I absolutely love the styling of the cover. This is a brand new book, but they made it look all 
trashy and used. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. This was, oh, it says staff pick. That's funny. The book packs all the magic of a summer horror flick. So this I'm going to read at some point. I don't know if I'm going to read it for horror mayhem because I already have my playlist for that already set up, my read list. Um, but this I absolutely want to read at some point in time because it's been on my watch list for a while. So we have that. So those were the two new books that I got. They were full price and I don't mind because it's an independent bookstore and I'm not giving my money to Amazon. I'm giving it to a small business so their small business can continue in the future. I love going there every single year. Okay, then <clears throat> I wasn't sure what to look for. So there are other events coming up in the future. There is a June on the range, which June is going to be dedicated to Westerns. I am not a Western girl. I have one picked out that is a female Western, like a feminist Western. Um, but that's the only book that I have. So I said, heck, I'm going to take a look and see what I could find. So I found this one because based on the name, why not? So this is Outlaw Hell by Jackson Cole. Sounds like a cowboy. And it says six gun hell and sudden death. I'm not going to read the blurb to you. I'll wait for June. But it was $2.99. It was half off, so I paid $1.54. Score. All right. Then we have, <laughs> in August, there's going to be um, a booktube, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of it. A booktube. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Come on, help me out. Help me out. Shout it out. Booktube event called Garb August, which is totally outside what I normally read, um, but I'm at the store and I see names and titles that I think would match. So um, it's basically trash novels. So I picked up a few. So the first one I've got is The Demon Breed, which by the cover just looks like trash. This is by who is this by James Schmitz? It's not in a series, thank God. So that'll be one for Garb August for my trash pile. Then I got this one, which looked interesting. And this was, this was a dollar. Okay, this was a dollar. Web of the Witch World. And this is called, oh, that's the name of the title. This is by Andre Norton. And I just love the cover of that. Um, yeah, so this is going to be weird. Andre Norton's Web of the Witch World is a terrific novel of scientific marvel, otherworld color, and sword and sorcery action that will thrill and delight every reader. So let's see if it thrills and delights me. And then this one I picked up, it was actually sitting on the shelf kind of awkward, and I pulled it and I looked at it and I'm like, what the heck is this? And I said to my best friend, I'm like, I got to read this to you. So this is called... Um, Empire Star and just look at the picture so it's a dude cradling an animal and it says the multi-dimensional adventures in space and time of Comet Joe and his cybernetic companion <laughs> and his cybernetic companion lump <laughs> I saw that and I said I have to get it now is it garbage? Probably. Is it trash? I don't think so, but it's <laughs> it's a hell of funny, that's for sure. So I'm putting this in my um, trash pile for the end of the summer. If I could resist reading it, I might <laughs> have to read. I might have to read Comet Joe and his sidekick Lump first. <laughs> Who writes this stuff? Oh God. Okay. So yeah, so um, okay, that's that's everything that I got today. And it all wound up to like, I don't know, 31 bucks in the end with everything. And um, with the freebies and all, it's just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, thank you to everyone at the staff from, from Firefly. They kept asking if we had any questions, if we needed to look stuff up. I had them, you know, hunt down some books on the computer for me and see if they had them in stock. Fantastic, if you're ever in 
that area of town, that area of the country. Um, be sure to check it out. I will post their um, address and contact information down below. They also can mail you books too. They have a great website. Um, uh, they're heavy on Instagram, so do check them out. And that's my stack for Independent Bookstore Day. All right, guys. So I'm out of here. Um, I have to get ready for my next video. So um, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Uh, make sure that you are taking care of your, hey, make sure you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of other people. And until next time, goodbye for now.